there's not very much content online around getting into more builders and commercial style shoots when it comes to real estate photography. I know there's a little bit out there, but overwhelmingly it's about listings and that's great, but this is something that is a little bit different and it's harder to find content around it. So I have the pleasure of being friends with John Ruse who owns JRP production company in Orlando and he came over today so that we could talk about how he has worked his way into builders and some really high-end commercial content um, and this is just such a powerful video guys if you are in this industry and you're looking to figure out how to get further into builders and do more than just listings then this is definitely one you want to sit down for it's about an hour long so you know be prepared but so much value in it we talk about builders growing a team um, we talk about systems and scaling and there's just a lot of nuggets in here. So let's go ahead and get it started. We're going to talk to John Ruse. We also have John Lewis on the show as well. And, uh, here we go. What's going on guys. Welcome to another YouTube video. This one is definitely different. I know I say that often, like this is a different video, but this one is different. So we got John on. And we also have John on. So we have John <laughs> Ruse yeah. in the studio today. John has uh, built a really awesome real estate photography business. And I asked him if he could write up a little intro for me. So I'm just gonna read what he said because that's the easier thing to do. So <laughs> John was born and raised in Caracas, Venezuela and migrated to the US in 2015. He dropped out of college 12 months into his film career to start his photography business. JRP was founded in 2017 with just John and fast forward to today. JRP has about 18 team members working with the largest privately owned home builders in the US and well-established hospitality brands across the world. With thousands of shoots under JRP's belt, it was named the number one architectural photography company in 2022 in central Florida. Pretty amazing. Uh, and I'm excited to have him on. So thank you. We got some questions for you, man. Yeah, thanks for coming. On. Away. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> it's uh, it's really awesome. I think we're going to bring like truly tons of value to people. Love it. People have questions daily. And I think a big one is just builders because mm -hmm. it's just tough to break into and it is. you've, you've kind of unlocked that. And, uh, a lot of the people that are watching this, are trying to get started in real estate photography and they're just focused on listings, which is mm -hmm. great. I think it's a good place to start, mm -hmm. but um, there's a huge next step that is much more detail oriented, much bigger clients, very different how you do it and um, expectations are higher, but paychecks are also higher. Right. So I just wanna talk about this. And um, I think the first thing that I wanna ask is just, what was the first thing that brought you to being working with the home builder, I guess. I am very detail oriented and my vision for JRP was always working with the largest of the largest, uh, biggest of the biggest, luxury of the luxuriest brands in, across the world. So yeah. um, I think what brought my vision to working with home builders initially was one, as you said, bigger paychecks. And yeah. uh, it was more of that gratification when you see the final photo, you're like, oh, this is it. Like, yeah. this is the final product I want to showcase to my business and showcase to the client. And just being by yourself, right. being very, very creative in location mm -hmm. by yourself. You don't, you don't have a set deadline. Yeah, it, you don't have, you don't have like a, let's say like a heart beginning and heart stop you can spend all the time possible on location making sure you have the right shot at the right moment just making sure the angles are right for the client so i was yeah. looking into that in the beginning um you know as i started in the listings real estate you know working with real estate agents normally i felt kind of i, I didn't have that gratitude of okay this is the final product i want to show for my brand for home builders in the other case that was the product I want to showcase. So that's that. why um, I really was just visioning my company towards that end of spectrum. Yeah. I think a lot of times like the listings can feel rushed or trying to hit a timeline. Right. So I think that's great. Like with a builder, you're able to right. just set time aside and just right. go ahead and do your, your best work. Yeah. And for yeah. builders, you know, every builder is different every vision of the client is different. So there you are way more involved than a real estate agent. You know, yeah. you are talking about pre-production, uh, props, lighting, you know, final edits, all that with the client. And I love that. I love building a, a, a truly great relationship with a client. And I feel like having from the beginning to the end, 
uh, that relationship with the client, it's going to build way better relationships um, in the future, you know? Mm, I love that. When you started in 2017, was it just you? Just me. Uh, I was charging 75 bucks a pop for a listing, for nice. a video, <laughs> drone, floor plans, Thilo 3D tours, everything. $75. 75 bucks. Wow. 2017. How long did you do that for before you were like, wow, this is not right? <laughs> <laughs> When I saw my account just not every not expense, growing. every expense was just going out the door, you yeah. know, and I was not seeing any profit, any right. profit whatsoever. So if you imagine you're charging 75 bucks for everything and I was editing everything myself, yeah, I was, the realtors loved you. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man. So I was doing everything myself, editing photos, every editing video everything by myself and I just hit a burnout point and I'm like okay I need to really stop doing this and really focusing on other things okay so what was your step after that like you realized that that's not sustainable one correct that was not sustainable two I wasn't able to scale my business right like truly scale my business if I'm doing it all myself it's yeah. impossible it's truly impossible. No, yeah, it really is. Uh, so what did you do? What was your first thing? Were you, you just started charging more or, um, you know, did you start delegating out? Like mm -hmm. how did that progression go for you? You know, with practice, of course, yeah, you, you come with a better product and better <laughs> ideas and all that. Yeah. Um, so I used to work for another real estate agency, um, alongside building my business. So I was kind of viewing what they do so I can implement it in my business. Oh. So I saw the things that they were doing wrong and I was like, okay, I need to grab that and just try to think, okay, I need to do that correctly. I need to change that because I think that's where they're doing wrong. And I did that mm. starting charging a little bit more, of course, to get a more profit. And, um, you know, coming up with better ideas for videos, um, if you see my 2017 videos compared to today's videos, you know, it's like pretty much nothing has changed with the feel of the video because I really pride on the feel, the look and all that. But the quality change, of course. Yeah. Because, of course, everything, everything, everything improves change rapidly right, because of all on time. So, yeah, um, I think this the decision to starting working with home builders it wasn't a decision it was a um introduction to a home builder so i had one client real estate agent that um start working in the marketing department for this massive home um one of the largest privately owned home builders in the u.s okay and um and i'm like hey shelly um do you, have hey. any, do you have any more listings? And she's like, no, I'm working with this builder. And FYI, I think we need a photographer um, to start working with us. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay, yeah. let's do this. I was, at that time, I was myself still editing photos myself, still editing videos myself, everything. Wow. And when, um, and that was 2020. So I did that okay, for so over like three a years. year. Like, yeah, two years just doing everything myself, working alongside the other agency, just thinking of, okay, where do I need to do? What, what do I need to do? <clears throat> I didn't know you can, you know, delegate edits to editors. I didn't know that you can, you know, hire other people just to do that. I had yeah. that ego, like, no, I have to do everything myself because this is my company and I have to do everything to make it shine because it's my name. It, it, it was John Roos Productions. Now it's JRP. Yeah. And I take my name out of the way, just yeah. focus on, on the brand itself. So, uh, just not to get off topic, um, the client, when I reach out to Shelly, that client that was working inside the um, home builders, mm -hmm. she's like, Hey, I think we need a new photographer. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. And the first, if you see my first samples I delivered to the client, they were trash. Were they? They were just, I, I am embarrassed. I'm like, yeah. and at that time I'm like, oh, this is amazing. This yeah. is so good. That's I'm ready. First. Right. Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready to impress this client. Let's do it. And they loved the assets. They really loved my personality. And I'm like, okay, well, let's do this. And they're like, I was shooting two listings a week. Mm -hmm. And then with this home builder, I was, I was shooting six to 10 houses a day. Wow. With the wow. QMIs and all that wow. by myself. Still editing everything by myself, doing yeah, everything gosh. by myself. And I'm like, okay, I need to switch this up. And 
that was the time that COVID hit. Right. And um, that's, that was the time that Brian stepped in. Yeah, because so, you have a partner. Right. <clears throat> I'm not myself. It's uh, We are 50-50 partners. Okay. Brian is my business partner. And funny story, I used to work with Brian as a uh, you know assistant photographer for weddings and conferences and lifestyle shoots and oh, wow. ad- advertising shoots and all of that. Um, and of course, when COVID hit, that business tanked. Right. And real estate just exploded yeah. out, of, out of the sun. And so I was shooting six to 10 houses a day with no structure, with no system, with no yeah. nothing. And I was going crazy, crazy, like literally crazy. I was about to drop the ball on the client and I was about to tell them, Hey, I cannot work with you anymore because I don't have the you can't keep up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Brian stepped in on 2020 and he's like, yo, we need to change this up. Um, we need to, start hiring people for you to just lay low, let other people take care of that. And yeah. we can just find editors, find this, find that. And that's, that's the story. What year was that? 2020. 2020. So he came right on COVID. Yeah. Right, right in COVID. <clears throat> yeah. And so what was your first couple of hires? How, what did you do? So I hired a photo editor mm-hmm. as but soon as editor first, yeah. editor first. Yeah. It makes sense. You can really batch eight houses, six houses a day with, if you have a, a editor. Yeah. You're not, I tell people, yeah. you need to get an editor immediately. As soon as yeah. you start your I don't business. think, I don't think you should let your pride get in the way for a single second. Like right. just go get an editor because they're going to be better than you yeah. and you're going to have your sanity intact. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. And there's so many, um, you know, platforms that you can find in a, a photo editor. I don't know if yeah. you know Pixel Mob that just came in. Yes, um, I just recently saw this. Nice. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. So it's a marketplace that you can find a photo editors just on a fly. And yeah. I think nowadays finding someone that can help you being better, I think that that tool is just impeccable to have. It on really your belt. is. Yeah. I mean, we should talk about that more. I was talking to the owner of the real estate videography group on Facebook. Nice. And um, he mentioned that to me and I had never heard of it before. And then I started investigating it. It's pretty amazing that it's like specifically for this industry, you go on there and it's like anybody that you want right there. And they tell you right. like what they're capable of, what their rates are. Right. It's like a whole different ball game mm-hmm. um, versus like trying to find people on Fiverr or Upwork and bringing them <laughs> in. And, or you're like looking through Facebook groups. It's, it's pretty cool to be consolidated. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pain just to, and I understand it's just that growing pain of building your business, just finding yeah. people to help you, reliable people to help you. But the first thing you definitely need to do is hire a photo editor before you just look to hire another guy to yeah. help you. So you hired the editor. Did you immediately hire a photographer after that? So I immediately hire Kevin, my first guy. I love him. Um, he's in Texas right now. Does he still um, work for you or no? Okay. I didn't know uh, if you're doing any work out there. Yeah. No, 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 not right now. Okay. Um, we have plans in the future though, but cool. not right now. Kevin was my first hire. I remember training him. He had past real estate experience, so it it, it, it was good. I didn't have to explain uh, from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Uh, he just grabbed it and he was so excited to start shooting and learning more. And that's one of the things that really changed my business. Mm. One, hiring a photo editor, two, hiring a guy to delegate pretty much 99% of my shoots to. What's your, um, what's your training time like? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Two weeks. Wow. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. For a luxury real estate photographer, I train them for two weeks. Okay. I'm going to start yeah. sending so people first, to you <laughs> yeah. to train and I'll pay you for it. <laughs> first, first week is um, basic training, just me explaining things. Second week is I'm shouting the guy, making sure everything is set, ready to go for him. And okay, is this so. for everything, like video as well, or just? Like no, a, just photos? Just photos. Okay. Just for, I have two photographers. I have luxury real estate photographers, and I have your normal HDR real estate photographers. Okay, right? got it. Um, of course, <clears throat> luxury real estate photographers do get paid more. Mm-hmm. Of course, they have that uh, architectural mindset in mind yeah. instead of a real estate mindset, right? Interesting. Um, my real estate photographers, I train them for three days. It's just quick. It's quick and easy because we have a system in place that it's really, we hand a handbook to them and they're like, okay, this is it. Perfect. They know what angle to get. They have a map out system on what angle 
do uh, they have to do and we overshoot the property the heck out of the property every single time doesn't matter if a 10 to 15 photo package or a 50 photo package we shoot every single corner no matter what because yeah. do you deliver all of those or do you pick through them no we pick yeah our editors pick uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Pick. okay. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. We don't do these selections anymore. So what do you tell your editors? Do you say like, Hey, I need X number of photos. Um, like specifically like, Hey, I need 20 photos or do so, you just let them? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, we build a shot list template for our guys to know, depending on the 10 to 15 photo package, this is, these are the angles to get yeah. one of the front shot, one of the foyer, one of the studio, one of the bathroom, blah, 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 three of the living room. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay. We have a template that they have, then they know, okay, this is a JRP shoot 10 to 15 photo package. Okay, I need to edit this rooms and they know. So we send them all and they just do the selections, edit them based on the package. Wow, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And they know, cause we, we use HD Photo Hub for our delivery platform and right. we they have a pretty cool Dropbox <laughs> integration where um, the, our guys, does, they don't have to create a folder on Dropbox, upload the photos on Dropbox, send me a link, blah, blah, blah. They just go in the dashboard, select the property that they shot, and upload everything. Mm. It's linked with Sapier, so my editors know automatically when they uploaded the photos. So my guys know, okay, um, Jesse uploaded some photos, just, and this is a 10, 10 to 15 photo package. Just edit those photos and I get them back the next day, and that's it. And I, I'm not involved at all in that process anymore. Do you have somebody in house or something that does like a quality control on the photos or you just take that link and send it off? We have a virtual assistant that is our QC, um, QC yeah. and uh, make sure everything is ready to go before, uh, before delivering. So we deliver all the properties before 11 a.m. the next day. I don't even know. I want to like ask a bunch of questions about that. Yeah. And this yeah. is for listings. This is exactly not they, for like the, not for lux the okay. luxury, the houses. We tend to do uh, okay. two days for delivery for houses for a luxury, okay. massive luxury shoot. Um, okay. And for these kind of shoots, we do deliver every single photo edited because one, we're getting paid way more Yeah. Two, I really want to build a relationship with this client. And I just wanted to show, Hey, we're here for you. We are the right partners for you. Yeah. Um, you won't miss any angle and we deliver the quality that they're looking for. So our profit margins on luxury shoots are so high that it doesn't bother us just to send off Edit 50 20 more. more. So yeah, 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 50 more photos, <clears throat> right? Right. For, for us, it's like, okay, it's 35 more bucks. Yeah. So what? That's nothing. So I think a lot of people, I get this question like truly a lot. People mm -hmm. ask like how much we spend on editing or how much they should be spending. Mm -hmm. um, in your position, are you spending different amounts per like if it's basic or luxury? And then is it a set price per photo? How does that work for you? It's a set price per photo for the editor, of course. Yeah. Uh, for luxury, we do spend quite a, li a little bit more because it's hotel style um, edits. So yeah. they have to remove wrinkles, blemishes, uh, make sure to remove cords, yeah. plugs, uh, exit signs, fire, fire hydrants or whatever. So they have to remove. So when you everything. say you're talking about like hotel and whatnot, when you say mm -hmm. luxury, are you meaning luxury homes as well? Right. Okay. So yeah. it could be homes. Yeah. Exactly. Even if it's a listing, but it's a luxury home. It, correct. Okay. Yeah. If we do list like luxury listings, they Get fall the into attention. that category of, okay, we have to send it off to our luxury guy just to take off yeah. because our luxury is it a different editor it's a completely different editor yeah oh, okay complete and it, he is independent he only uh it, he he has one or two guys really yeah um you know compared to the other guys that have hundreds of editors editing your photos you know yeah. our guy that we use is like it's him he's by himself but right. he has a couple like two or three editors with him oh, nice that's and good. so it's like that's our main you know Right. Yeah, he's You're, our main point of contact. He trains the people that are with him. Right. And so it's like our own little small team. Right. Um, which has been great. Mm -hmm. So you started to get into hiring more people and this all happened once you brought in your partner. Right. Brian. What role does he play in all of this? So he is client satisfaction. He is client relationships. He okay. is producer sales. Um, he photographer, he does all the, pos the, all the positions available. But mainly what he does is producing and sales and client satisfaction. Hmm. That's it. So he's with pretty much every single day talking to our 
luxury clients, bigger clients, just yeah. making sure they're happy, making sure if we have other shoots, making sure that if they need some re-edits done, making sure if their photos are good. Uh, it's not like every single day, but yeah, every other day, he's just making sure, uh, you know, my client, our client is completely happy with everything. Hmm. So, so before 2020, you mm -hmm. had like no vision of scaling at all. You were no like, vision. yep, I'm a photographer. This is my job. And then once that one builder reached out to you, mm -hmm. you were like, man, I got to change something. And yep. And yeah. Basically are, forced so. you into it. Right. Yeah. It forced me into it because yeah. I really like, wanted to do it. They didn't want to <laughs> lose that client. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, it's the top three largest yeah. home builder they they do billions in revenue right, right? and they <laughs> they are international too they're in canada too so i saw i saw this potential like okay i can go international with this client you know if i do land this client the other um you know and they they started asking hey do you guys shoot in tampa hey do you guys shoot in austin hey do you guys shoot in blah 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 because they know that and the, other like, departments, yeah, sure. the other departments are seeing the orlando division just get this quality photos and they're like okay wow really we, we really need to look into their team because maybe they can handle that back bandwidth you know so to ask you your question yes i had no vision whatsoever when um, before landing this home builder, no yeah. vision whatsoever. When I landed this vision, it was like a hard reality hit. And it's like, okay, we need to build this yeah. right now. Very yeah. cool. So how many people yeah. do you have on your team right now? 18. And what does that, how does that break down? So we have, it breaks down to photographers, um, myself and Brian, mm -hmm. admin, then office staff and VAs. Do you have a person, like an actual physical space? Nope. Nope. Everybody's Everyone remote. works at their house. <clears throat> Wow. Yep. How does that work without fiber? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. true. You we just have to eat it up. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish I do have fiber in my house just to yeah. upload everything. But yeah. uh, some of our shooters, they do have fiber. Yeah. So it's They're just lucky. fast. Yeah. When you're training people, you said that two week period mm -hmm. for the basic stuff. Yep. What about, do you, is it just you that's filming like videos or do you have other um, media people on your team that are doing videos as well? We do. Um, strategically hire people that does have photo, video, Matterport, drone experience. So okay. we do hire, we do find people, try to find people that ha that cover all these spectrums. Okay. So we don't have to, okay, um, we just have to find, we have a photo only guy, yeah. video only guy, drone only guy. We do have all jack of all <clears throat> trades guy that I can just throw in whenever yeah. Um, is available. Something that I find word. really interesting that you do that we don't really plan on doing, but I, I would like to know like more thoughts on it is the people on your team, the photographers can also grow their own business at the same mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So they shoot for you and yep. they can go, you know, be growing their own business. Yep. What was your reason behind that? How has that worked out so far? Reason? There's no specific reason. Okay. Really? Uh, I really do love helping people build their business and really learn. I love to teach and, um, all that. So it, it doesn't really, it, it, it isn't like, Hey, you're exclusive to me. Um, uh, you only work for me. The only thing that they do sign off is working with our client. And that does make sense, right? Yeah, of course. You don't want another guy that shoot coming for in, your, your client, client coming in, taking your clients. Right. Yeah. But they, they, they can of course build their own business, real estate or whatever business they do. Um, but we strategically hire people that are in the beginning stages in real estate that they like it, but they shoot weddings too and they shoot other stuff. So maybe they, when they hit a point that they don't like real estate anymore, they can just go elsewhere okay. and do weddings and all that. So I haven't had any cases where I trained this guy and this guy just turn into my compet competition. Yeah. And, you know, we are targeting other clients that he might be targeting. So he targets real estate agents. We target builders. We target, you know, um, short-term rental clients, hotels. So, yeah. you know, and for your luxury photographer that I'm training, uh, he's mostly, he like the guys that we train, they do have a business, but they don't want to scale it. They just want to work for someone else, get the money, go home. That's okay. it. So we, we do hire those guys that really are there because either they want to learn how to do it or they just are a little bit interested in just dabbling in a little bit, but not a fully established business. It's like, I'm not going to hire you guys to shoot 
a, you know, a yeah. massive house, you know, and pay you standard rates, you know, I, it's better for me to hire someone else and pay her a little bit less mm -hmm. just to do that. You know, are they on, like, how do you pay photographers? Do you have people on salary at all? Do you have, is it, is it like always full time right out the bat? Do you offer that or do you offer a lot of like part-time stuff as well? That's a good Based question. You're doing. Yeah. Um, no salary. Everyone is a part-time contractor. 1099 okay. and they get paid by project. So we have a standard flat rate for 10 to 15 photo package. You get paid X for a 40 to 45 photo package. You get paid X. Uh, we used to have that, um, system when, where we pay 40% of the final invoice to the photographers, but we saw that that was a little bit not messy. Scalable. It's not scalable. It's messy. Yeah. It's like, Okay, I need to calculate the 40% of this package all the time. Like in HD Photo Hub, we have yeah. all the standards set, ready to go. And when a client books and select the guy, they know how to make, how much it they get paid. It gives you a report. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it's a standard nice, flat rate right for everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When somebody starts to work for you, mm -hmm. are you basically anticipating to be able to give them full-time work right off the bat? It's depending on the season, really. Yeah. Uh, right now we, ju we're just starting the busy, busy season. season. So yeah, we're feeling it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling it too. So, um, I tell them, Hey, you're going to be shooting an average of five homes a day, okay. um, f Monday through Friday in the busy season mm -hmm. and the slower season, you are averaging one or two a day. Yeah. Here and there, you know, um, for our luxury guys, it's mostly part time because we don't we don't shoot every single day for luxury clients because it takes time to yeah. prep, shoot <laughs> post production. So um, for your normal real estate listings, they do work every single day. Okay. And, um, you know, they have access to their own Google Calendar and the dashboard. So they can, they can just block off the dates that are not available or they don't want to work. So okay. we know and we can plan ahead. I yeah. have a question about gear. Yeah. So all of these people are, you know, on your team are contractors and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Are you providing gear for them or do they have to have it when you hire them? They do have to have gear. Okay. Um, and do you have like a certain level um, that it has to be or, uh, or certain brands that they have to have? How does that work? No, really. They, my only requirement is to be part 107 certified and, right. um, at least shoot 4k 60 okay. for video. That's it. That's really it. Um, hmm. for luxury guys, I tend to do 45 megapixel camera, but they used, they, they like, they're used to that. Um, yeah. I mean, I provide like everything. Right. Um, and obviously that's a big expense, but I'm trying to have like the quality across the board be exactly, exactly. the same mm -hmm. and like our editors to know exactly what to expect. Like it's yep. going to be S log three footage. It's mm -hmm. going to be, you know, uh, ARW raw files. It's like, they know. Yeah. I had a question about that. How, how the, how's that working on with you? Cause for us, we shoot Nikon, Sony, Canon, like across the yeah. board yeah. and man, I can only imagine our editors get back the footage and they're like, okay, what camera do you guys use for this one? And I have to reply, Hey, we used yeah. Canon yeah. R5 or I shot Sony. a, I shot a wedding with like a dual strap. I had a Sony on one side and a Canon <laughs> on the other. And when I was like doing my presets, I was like, man, this preset just is not working it's with this. I had to completely working. change it. Yep. Yeah. It's like so different. It's so different. Yeah. And it doesn't happen too much with the photos because we have that raw capability and they sure. know what they're doing. But for video, it's very noticeable. Yeah. Sony versus Canon. It's very, very nice. It's very yeah, noticeable. Sure. It's like, Oh yeah. Damn. I feel like it's like, it is very costly, but mm -hmm. I feel like it is the right move for us anyway, where, right. um, for the photos and videos, it's like, everything's the same. It's like, we have the camera. Everybody has like kind of their own camera, but essentially they're all the same. Anybody can grab one camera from somebody else and know exactly what to do with it. Exactly. And, um, you know, we dial the presets in too. Like yeah, the camera's the right. same. So yeah, one, two, and three, they're all the same. You know what you're doing as soon as you get on it. Um, that's good. all of the tripods have the same head and like quick release. <laughs> so it's yeah. like, you just literally can put any camera on any tripod, mm -hmm. any gimbal, they and all work. work. And it's been like really nice, nice. to be honest. That's um, good. Yeah. I mean, clearly it's working for you. I was yeah. just curious. It's a different, you know, totally different strategy. As, as I said, we don't really care what equipment yeah. you use. It's just a matter of, we don't require the latest of the latest, mm -hmm. but something that gets the job done. Yeah. It's it has required. to just be good quality. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Have you run into where you're like, this is not up to our quality and you have to 
tell somebody to upgrade or does that not really happen? No, because I, re- I do ask that on a year interview before even heading to a location. I ask what camera do you use? What yeah. lens do you use? What tripod do you use? I dive in into equipment gear with them. Um, sometimes they even know. They're like, oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm like, okay, well, how, like, can you go and just check real quick? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And I had this guy, I can hear him over the phone, just opening his bag, (laughs) grabbing the camera. He's like, oh, I have a Nikon D8050. I'm like, oh, okay, this is, this is good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Wow. When you're in the hiring process, how, like, how long does it take normally? Or how many, how many applicants do you go through? I guess like per, if you're hiring one person, like, would you try to get 20 and then how many don't work out? And then you find the one. And where are you looking for them? Indeed. One, indeed. It, that's that's our... Is that your biggest one? Biggest yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. We uh, we recently hired someone based out of a uh, Instagram group that we have with filmmakers and photographers. Okay. Um, that he was very interested in learning real estate. So we do, we, we hire him because we were looking for it. But mainly is indeed. Indeed is our best best option for now. Yeah. And you're interviewing how many people? We get about a hundred or so applicants. Um, and then we dial it to 10, then five, then three, and that's it. And, and out of pick, those three, just one. one. So you're, uh, obviously doing a lot of home builders now. What right. is the kind of percentage would you say of like builder to realtor in your business? 50, 50 right now. You think it's 50, 50. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. Yeah. 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 I can't like, we have a couple home builders at this point, but it's a couple out of like a few hundred, you know, realtors. Right. So it's a pretty small percentage. Mm-hmm. The work is considerably higher ticket, which is nice, which is nice. You know, I would like to get into more builders as well as you like that first one, you talked to Shelly, was it word of mouth that got you from there to getting into others? Or did you have a specific like marketing strategy? Uh, not really. It was word of mouth and referrals. Yeah. Other agents referred me to, um, I actually have a great story too. I have a real estate agent that I used to work. Uh, he, she just retired, um, used to work for her a lot. Um, and I used to, I worked for her for over three years. I didn't knew this. Um, her husband was a pretty well-known, uh, private home builder. I'm like, okay, this is, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this at not like, I didn't know anything about this home builder. I knew their name and I was trying to reach out, but I didn't knew that. You didn't know the connection. The connection. I'm like. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, I just asked her and she's like, okay, yeah, I can set up a meeting. And no, and just like that. That's it. Sometimes you just got to ask. <laughs> ask I mean, your you really clients. Do. <laughs> really, ask your clients. Offer great incentives. We offer up to 200 bucks um, per listing. Per referral. Per referral. How do you do that conversation? Is it like automated, like um, on delivery of a listing? Like, hey, if you refer us, we'll give you this dollar amount. It's or do you just call them and you're like, Hey, who do you know? If you know somebody, we'll give you 200 bucks. That's a, that's, that's a good question. Um, uh, our system is not automated for that. It's mostly when we finish a big shoot or a great shoot with that client. And we know that they're going to be happy. Yeah. We tend to ask, Hey, do you happen to know a marketing, you know, rep at this home builder? Yeah. Ooh. And they're like, no, sorry. Let me ask go around my office. Or they say, Hey, yes, I can connect you with her. Okay. That's it. We have put a really big emphasis on content creation. Nice. Obviously the listings are like what got us to this point, Mm -hmm. but we have made a big switch of not switching away from it, but adding in, you know, we built out the studio. Um, we have the monthly retainers for content creation. Is this something that you're doing at all? Are you doing any kind of like content creation for agents? No, which I think I'm (laughs) lacking on. And I think I'm, I'm being, are you being asked? Like, do you have clients that are asking if you do that stuff? Yes. A lot lately. Um, especially real estate agents, not builders. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense. With builders, they do have the budget to go in and spend $50,000 or $20,000 on a lifestyle shoot with models and all that. Yeah. And from that, they get all this ads and content creation off of that. But for like real estate agents, podcast reels and all that, we just have couple clients that ask for it, but it's getting more and more and more and more noticeable. So yeah. do you think you'll open a space eventually? Probably. Or do you think it'll be like mobile? Cause I know a lot of it's, people do that. They just, we, they'll set some yeah, stuff exactly. up. Yeah, exactly. Um, we do have a studio. No, no, it's not ours, but we rent it. Oh, okay, um, cool. It's pretty much mobile. Yeah. It's mobile all, yeah. all across. Yeah. I mean, there's several, you can make, um, you know, a content creation package of some kind right. that 
it's like you go to their office or you mm-hmm. go out to a community or whatever. Right. It doesn't have to be in a studio space. Yeah. That's smart. We did um, that for a while. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. I just think it's, you know, for us, it's been a huge differentiator. It's right. like nobody else is doing this. Exactly. So and that's what it, uh, uh, that was what I'm going to say. It's there's no, no one in, yeah. in, in this area doing this. Yeah. Dom that came in last week, he, uh, he was shooting some content here. He's a agent here and in Nashville. Nice. And, um, he was saying that a bunch of the agents in Nashville were talking to him like, Hey, where did you get this content made? Yeah, he's like, Florida. <laughs> and he's like, I made it in Florida. Go get a ticket, you know, yeah. <laughs> which is cool. Um, he's like that a double agent. So he like, yeah, he's like in both areas. But that it was funny because he was like, no, he said that there's absolutely nothing there like this. And crazy. it's just interesting how big of a gap I think there is right now. Right. And so anybody listening, like, you know, you can steal the idea. It's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, go ahead and like create something. But I feel like it really is just, it is a risk, obviously, like mm-hmm. do it uh, intelligently, right. but um, it's definitely an interesting step. And mm-hmm. when we have, like you said, your, your people are doing five houses a right. day in the right. summer mm-hmm. and one to two in the winter. Well, what are you doing for revenue? Right. You know, how are you maintaining your uh, payroll? Well, in, in your case, it's like individual projects, right. but if you're trying to pay people on a consistent basis, you got to have, oh, yeah. y- you have to have a way to do it. Yep. So, Makes sense. Yeah. Um, and this is a very smart way to do it. It's also like, just to touch on that too, it's like so professional. I mean, we've had clients come in for podcasts where they bring in their guest right. and they're like, Whoa. wow, this is incredible. Like mm-hmm. I was not expecting this. And a lot of times they'll like try to film a podcast in their garage or something mm-hmm. or, yeah. and it's just, a, it's nice to bring these people into like a commercial space. Makes and sense. we talk about it too, with like the podcast that we do, it's called Space Coast Industry Leaders. Nice. <laughs> we bring in clients that, uh, that we want to meet and that we want to work with. Nice. So it's like, we're able to force these conversations, like not force it, but ask yeah. them, Hey, you want to come in? It's a huge marketing play. Yeah. 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 And then the clips and you share it, they have content, you have content and you just had a great conversation with someone who you want to work with. Exactly. I love that. I love that. Yeah. You yeah. don't have this, kids running around. This is very smart. Yeah. yeah. Kudos to you guys because this is yeah, just thank out you. of this world. I mean, kudos. I don't want to like totally turn this on us. I, like I want you to <laughs> definitely be bringing knowledge to the people here. Yeah. Um, but I think it does make sense even for builders, you know, if people are trying to get into builders, like they need content too. Like mm-hmm. I don't think you should be afraid of, you know, one or the other. If you right. want to be creating content, not that we are right now by any right. means, but I'm just saying that I think that is an opportunity mm-hmm. as well. If mm-hmm. you're trying to shoot some um, new builds and then it's like, well, they need some social media as well. Exactly. Yeah. So mm-hmm. everyone needs some. Everybody needs a little social media. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, these big home builders, they do have their internal marketing team <coughs> and they do have their content creation yeah. guy. Let's be honest. Girl. Most of their social medias are not very good though. Not very good. No. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. They They're need just, a little assistance. Yeah. Touching on that point, it's just they, they need to really step up. And, you know, one thing is the photos for their, you know, banners and websites and all that. But your social, you know, image is very important, too. Yeah. And I totally agree. They're just not cutting it. I know we just keep saying the word builders, but mm-hmm. I feel like it's really important because this is like a different value that you're bringing versus most people on the Internet. Um, when you are working with builders, are you shooting flash like Flambian or are you shooting HDR or does some of them not even know the difference and you, you know, how does that work? So it really depends on each builder. Okay. On our, they have different requests, right? In the, in our pre pro communication uh, call, it's like, Hey, what's the style you're looking for? You're using HDR or flash. You're like more, a honestly, do most of them and they might, but do, do they know the difference a lot of times? They do. Do they? A lot. I remember you telling me that Mm -hmm. one client Mm -hmm. were like, they know, they know, they exactly know where they're looking for. Okay. And they know if you shoot with flash with no flash, they know. Hmm. Especially big, big, big home builders, because their marketing team, you, they, they, they see these photos every single day from all their guys too, yeah. not not just ours. So yeah. they they can tell the difference, and they they have <laughs> trained, they have their eyes trained just to see their image. Okay, right. This guy just have the quality. You know, I think that's it's funny because I've for sure seen about a hundred thousand photos right over the last <laughs> few years, and man. Just recently, I reached out to somebody on Instagram that mm-hmm. I I just loved their photo. It was really good. And I was like, are you shooting flash? And it was not. It was HDR. And I'm like, this it is, is getting crazy. real hard to tell nowadays. Yeah. Even I feel like I'm a pretty trained eye at this yeah. point. Yep. Yep. And it's getting pretty wild. <laughs> so it is, you know, even though they are like trained, I, 
because we don't shoot flash at all. It, correct. Like at all. Yeah. Um, and they look like flash shots. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> you know, we try That's to make the goal, them amazing, yeah. Yeah, exactly. you know, uh, but it's like for us, the, and it's different. Like you said, you have all day at a builder to where right. you can like plan out your shots. You're, you might spend like 45 minutes getting a shot ready. Mm -hmm. Right. And then taking, it's like, okay, now let's set up for the yeah. next one. Whereas like in real estate photography, mm -hmm. I mean, we just finished up a shoot this morning where we did, um, a video Matterport tour, Zilla 3d tour and photos and, and drone. drone in about an hour about and 15 hour. minutes. That's insane. <laughs> you know, yeah. it was both of us, but yeah, it was both of us exactly. together, but, you know, knock it out yeah, very and quickly. An agent real with an agent add on. Yeah. And an agent <laughs> was there. Christ. So it's like, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can't even imagine if we're like shooting flash at the same time and you're just adding so much time yeah. onto for, it. For these kind of shoots, I do spend four hours. Really? Just photos. How many photos all. are you, are you typically delivering? Close to 60 photos, 70 okay. photos. Um, for a six bedroom house. Are much. you charging like a flat rate per like a square footage or do you charge by uh, photo amount? How do you do that? And is it different for builders versus listings? It is different from builders than for listings. For listings, we do charge depending on the square footage. Okay. Of course. And for okay. builders, we do per project depending on the project. So okay. if the- What's your method for quoting that? So it's basically- uh, we have a standard rate for photo for luxury photo, a mm -hmm. and a standard rate for video on builders. No matter and the size. No matter the size. Really? Be, I mean, what if somebody came to you and said, "I have a ten thousand square foot house"? It's like. I mean, of course, we we just have to reevaluate that. But okay. Uh, pretty much all all of our clients, the maximum square footage that we have right now, it's it tops down at five thousand square feet, hmm. six thousand square feet, pretty much, and. That's really the, we, we have a pretty high ticket price for those photos, for the, for the home builder photos. Yeah. And the, it's been working just fine. We don't charge, um, a licensing fee. I know a lot of people in the, Do you just give a perpetual, like unlimited license, perpetual license. Just baked yeah. In. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can use it. I can use it. Yeah, I mean, it. I like that. I like the simplicity yeah. of it. I feel yeah. like it's just, I don't want to keep track of licensing for you right. know, years and, yep. and how are you using it? Oh, you put it on a billboard. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> I, I've seen people like online, they'll send, you know, all these images, but they're not final. They send them to the client. The client picks the ones they want. They send them back. You finish the edits. You send them back. They right. license certain ones. Right. And that can be like a lot of work and a it lot. can be like very confusing. Yeah, it's like, is it even worth it? The amount of time like, that you're spending you on the communication the back and yeah, forth. No. <laughs> That's why we send them all. Yeah. Cause it just cuts down one more step and that more step exactly. can take weeks. Yeah. You know, you don't so, have yeah. to share your exact pricing if you don't want to, but I'm curious, yep. like what is the differentiation there of how much more maybe percentage wise are you charging for builders versus mm -hmm. uh, listings? Well, there's three tiers. There's, yeah, I guess listings and then there's luxury listings right. and then there's builders, right? Mm, no. Or are you saying luxury listings is the builders? Is the builders, okay. correct. Okay. So, I um, so basically two sets of prices. Two sets of prices. We have a pretty standard flat rate for luxury. Okay. Uh, and of course, as I said, we price our packages depending on the square footage for the real estate agents. Okay. Normal real estate shoots. Is it like two, three, four times as much? It's like... 10 times more. 10 times. <laughs> yeah. Rather than, Jeez. yeah, for the home builders. Yeah, wow. Pretty and they much. they have no, like, they, they don't even blink an eye, right? Let's put it this way. It, I will charge photo, video, Matterport, drone, website, 2D floor plan. Th that's it. That's, that's, the, that's the general package. Mm -hmm. Grab that price and just photos. That's twice the price of that package. Just wow. photos. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. These home builders you know, have the budget to do it too, spend. Yeah. You know what I'm interested in with that though is I feel like a lot of the builders that I see in our area are not shooting every single house. Right. They have like their model homes that they obviously shoot mm -hmm. and they're like, yeah, uh, you know, sites, you know, 15 through 40 over here is going right. to be a floor plan A, B, or C. Right. Are it's? I mean, it seems like you're shooting every house. Mm -hmm. Are Are you? Yes. Because- our clients, um, it's funny because every phase that, that they build is a different floor plan. So oh. each house is completely different. Wow. It might be one bedroom is just switch, but they really require it. Well, the one in particular photo. that I'm thinking about, they'll even like, they'll have, um, a floor plan and they'll sell the exact same one, but it's like literally flipped flipped and, but they mm -hmm. don't take photos of it. It's just like, yeah. here's the, you know, here's the we one do, that they do. We do take photos of that. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do photos of um, QMI, so quick moving homes. It's your general like spec, a spec homes. homes. Yeah. yeah, and then model homes. 
And for QMIs, we do charge less than a motorhome because they don't require flash. It's just HDR photos, just your general package. Uh, we charge mm. a little bit extra for the home builders because, just because. Yeah. And for home, for the actual um, motor home, we do charge that luxury price. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I mean, I wish I'm charging that luxury price for the spec homes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> So we just started using ClickUp and nice. before that we were just using Slack and we were, you know, especially with the content creation of the studio. Love it. It was like, you know, this person just filmed 11 videos. We have another person who just filmed five mm -hmm. and we're sending them to our editors and we're like looking in the threads in Slack and we're trying to figure out where are we? It's a freaking disaster. It, you feel like a sinking ship. <laughs> yep. So yep. we just started using ClickUp and we use it for listing photos as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we use it for everything. Everything. Now. Yeah. So, and that has like helped us tremendously right. where we can just see like, uh, a top-down view of every single thing that's going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to be clear, it's not just content creation videos; it's photos too. It's yeah, like, photos. We everything. have everything in there. Listing videos, and um, because you said you use HD Photo Hub, right, for that. But mm -hmm. just curious. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, you have you have eighteen employees, right? Yeah. So like, how do you keep everything organized without right. like you know feeling you're like you're uh, overwhelmed? <laughs> yeah, sinking. Yeah. Yeah, some days I do feel overwhelmed yeah. with the amount okay, of work. Okay, thank God it's not just me. No. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 believe me. Last week, I was just on the final cracks. It's just like, oh my God, I cannot do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this stuff happens. I mean, it happens to the best of us. It happens to someone that's starting, someone that's in the top, top. It happens. It's just things yeah. that really, it's the growing pains, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, for systems, we do have HD Photo Hub that it's been a lifesaver for us. Um, and we use Monday and Slack um, just to keep track of everything. Yeah. Cool. So Monday.com. Monday.com and so Notion. What are you so using that for? Mainly just to keep track of projects, specifically video edits. That's it. Yeah. It wasn't until we started doing a lot of the content creation where it wasn't because before it was like next to delivery for everything right where it's like quick right but for the content creation and the podcasting it was like yeah. wow this is like a different level it's right. not just like quick turnaround it's like you know we say two weeks we want to get it to like one week right maybe even sooner yeah but it was like i feel that i feel like process. with you guys you you have so much assets to deliver that you have to keep track it's unbelievable for us yeah. it's just crazy yeah. <laughs> okay for this address we need to deliver all the photos for yeah. the for the luxury home builders for like for the re general real estate uh things it's completely automated and it's really i just don't keep track of that because it's just completely automatic through hd photo hub and monday and yeah, yeah. google calendar so i really don't keep track of that because everyone is assigned to the their task and when someone gets their task um you know activate it they know how to act quickly you know for yeah. home builders it's really just it's very laid back of course don't get me wrong it's sometimes it's very stressful just to get that deadline in yeah. and editing requests and all that so we used monday.com and notion to keep track of that hd photo hub just to keep track of that but that's that's it that's really it cool yeah yeah sounds like you're doing good yeah i think it, i think it makes a lot of sense what you're doing and like you said we're just doing something a little differently where we were just drowning in like dropbox links and uh like nothing <laughs> yeah. felt like it made nothing <laughs> felt like it made sense and then yeah you know a really big thing like john was starting to bring up there is when we're creating like podcasts and marketing videos and that's all blended in it's like you're a week later and and you're like, did anybody even touch that Touched one that. edit where it's like every single day we're delivering like a dozen things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they can just really get lost. So yep. I think we actually looked at monday.com. We looked nice. at Asana, um, nice. but ClickUp was the one where we were like, this just feels like it makes the most sense. Love it. And we just have it to where you can see now, like, you know, Everything. this happened that day, like this needs to be moved here. Yep. And so exactly. Just for people that are like, um, curious about that. We basically just have like in editing, then internal review or quality control and then deliver essentially so and we'll just move it forward or backwards mm -hmm. if it needs to go back to editing for a video then we make our notes send it back it yep. comes back and then it gets delivered pretty much as yeah it's identical yeah. yeah and we just tried to keep that i mean we didn't want to like make it too confusing mm -hmm. just like the bare bones minimum of you know all the listings are here right it's not like per client <laughs> it's just like we just tried to do it the simplest way as possible exactly yeah. yeah, make it less confusing. Yeah, I think don't overcomplicate it. Yeah, <laughs> don't overcomplicate it. it. That's the worst thing you can yeah, ever do. You'll just get lost. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, if you're starting out for for 
people that are just starting out don't really focus on building systems, just focus on building your business. And I think that's just good advice. Get, just go for it. Don't spend hours and hours trying to figure it out how HD Photo, Photo Hub works. You can figure it out later when you yeah, are scaled it with thousands of clients. You're like, yeah. okay, I need to sit down, figure out these things out make sure everything is running correctly. But it's kind of like when the builder reached out and right. you, you didn't have it set up yet, but you're like, yep. let's do it. Let's do it. Sometimes you just gotta yeah. like, you just gotta do it. And I you think I did in. that a lot too, where like, I would be like, oh, I don't have that like set up yet. Like that's not a job for me. <laughs> well, sometimes you just have to say yes. <laughs> exactly. And then you figure it out later. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We do that all the time. Even if we don't have the bandwidth, we're like, yeah, of sure. Let's go for it. And we're like, oh, beep. Yeah. Now it's the real deal. We have yeah. to figure it out. <laughs> For sure. Do you do anything outside of real estate at all? Or is it all 100% real estate? We do lifestyle shoots. Okay. Um, I own, I co-own another business with, along with Brian called Big Wave Productions. Okay. That is mainly focused on lifestyle. Um, ho not, well, not hotels, uh, but mainly uh, big, big hospitality clients, medical clients, um, advertising shoots, hmm. uh, conferences. What made you do that? When did you start that? Big Wave started 2021. What led you to that? Because I was working alongside with Brian and we shared the same things. Like, okay, I was working on Brian's clients and Brian was working alongside with my clients too all the time. And at that time we were just partnered with JRP and we we're like, okay, why don't we just branched out and instead of having Brian Adams Photographics, Brian's company, merge uh, Big Wave. Mm -hmm. It just transforms into Big Wave and it, we're like 50-50 partners. On both. Just to have it all in just one thing. That's you know? cool. And Do you use the same kind of back-end systems and resources to fuel both of them? Everything. Yeah. We share the same editors. We share the same strategies, the same systems, everything. It's just one. Mm -hmm. And you're shooting on a red camera a lot of times, I see. Yeah. That's Lately, it's been good. I love it. Did you buy it or do you rent it? Buy it. That's costly. Used on Miami. Guy oh. was selling it. They had. They own a big studio. Yeah. They have. Um. They had sixteen reds. Oh uh, my gosh! Uh, oh man! And the Komodo was just sitting collecting dust. Wow. And this guy. Like a prop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a prop on a shelf, and it's like, yeah, I, I use it one time as a C cam for a, for a music video. I never use it. Oh my wow. gosh. Yeah. My CCAM would be my iPhone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Like, let's be real. Yeah. Wow. So he sold it to me. I drove down to West Palm Beach and just boop, snag it from him. That's amazing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you feel like that that brings a different level of like trust with your clients when you- A lot. You do? A lot, yeah. Especially with um, one of our hospitality clients. Uh, when we told them that we shoot on red, they're like, yeah. Oh. Like, oh. Okay. They're like, oh. What was the learning okay. curve like for that uh, to go from like a DSLR to a red? Was it not, not a big really. deal? No, not not a big deal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the quality is just fantastic yeah. for the red. Are I the mean, file sizes just outrageous? Outrageous. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's like three second clip is like five gigs. Oh, oh five, six my. Gigs. Oh my. And god. you're like, what do you even Jesus. do with that? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So Jeez. it's it's a pain just to mm, file management. It's a pain to butt. I'm but, sure. Well, that's yeah. like when we're shooting clips in here. I mean, people go through several, uh, you know, takes on something. And we'll just keep it rolling the whole time. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, oh, you know, a 18 minute video. <laughs> you couldn't even do yeah. that. Yeah. What I love about Red is just have they they, they just released several code codecs, new new codecs that okay. really shrink down the file size, yeah. retaining a, a lot little of bit of the quality. Yeah. Huh. And color. So it's good. It's been good. You have any other questions? No, I want a red one day though. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I can bring I feel it like we gotta get like the, the Sony FX six or something though, because it's like we got all Sony. Yeah, we are Sony, all Sony shooters, lenses, so. right? Yeah, because you have Canon, that makes I sense. Yeah, and it's a mm -hmm. Canon mount lens, Canon. right? Yeah. yeah, the red is just so iconic though. It is. It's like you walk on two shoot, and it's like, yeah, yeah. I got a red. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? And it's so small. You think it's a toy because it it's until like you rig really it out. This and this. Yeah. until you rig it out. Exactly. Yeah, the box. And you have to rig it out to make it work. Yeah, like you. I use my phone to monitor it, okay. but sometimes I have to use the Ninja just to have that monitor and that quality. And just, I love to build out stuff. Yeah, so, of course. Uh, but the body only, it's literally a box, small yeah. box, and you can feel it and you can yeah. just have it like a baby. Wow. It's mm. so That's good. That's cool. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Well, man, I think that that was truly like just value, value, value for <laughs> everybody. Um, I guess if 
just any last pieces of advice for somebody like getting into real estate photography and they want to grow a business similar to yours? Like what, what quick steps would you tell them to take? I say touch in the past. Don't really focus on systems right now. Really focus on targeting and going after it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know about the Instagram method, email, like DMA, DMing people, yeah. asking for free shoots or 50% off or add-ons off. That works wonders. And I feel like if you start that mm -hmm. and, and do that, I think just go all in. And yeah. you, you, have to, you have to be all in. Like if you are 10% totally. off, yeah, you, you gotta not, be hundred percent committed. Yeah, you have, you have to be hundred percent committed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'll get what you focus on. Mm -hmm. And we talk about that a lot too, like the input output, like it really is like, if you put in more, if you reach out to a hundred people a day, like yep. you will get business. I, I always tell myself it's all going to be worth it at the end. So I just push it hard, <laughs> push sure. hard. Yeah. Sometimes like next week I was just drowning. I was just about to just cut it and yeah. and i'm like no this is all worth it just yeah ha hang on we hang call on. that the good old days you're yep. always in the good old days and then you look back <laughs> and you're like what a dummy i was <laughs> <laughs> no it's worth it <laughs> it's worth it yeah awesome man thank you for coming on yeah, um, yeah. appreciate you guys yeah it's great and, uh maybe we'll have you on next time we'll bring a red camera in whoop, whoop. yeah let's cool. do it let's shoot, let's shoot with the red camera yeah perfect <laughs> all right guys that is it for this one i will see you in the next one